Hi everyone. I want to show you how to create menus, top level menus in PyGoobo Designer. Here's an example. So I click on the file menu, I have open and exit. And then I have my main window here. I'll show you how to create this in PyGoobo Designer. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. Okay, so I'm going to start a new project in PyGoobo Designer. So the first thing I'll start with is a top level window, which in this case will be our main window. Then I'm going to add a frame so that it covers the whole window. So now that we have our top level widget, like our window and a frame, I have to click on top level here like that. And then I'm going to click on menu. Then you'll notice the menu widget here at the bottom. It's currently not attached, but it will be in the final design. And one important thing is I'm going to delete this and show you something again. If I have frame selected, and if I try to click on menu, nothing will happen. So you have to make sure you click on top level and then click on menu. Okay, so now we have our blank menu widget down here. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the top and choose sub menu. So this one here. So now we can see our sub, sub menu here. I'm going to change the label of that to file like that. So now we have our file menu and then I'm going to add a command menu by clicking on command at the top while I have sub menu selected. Okay. So now we have a sub menu and if I click on file now, you'll see that sub menu here called command two. So I'm going to change it to open. So now we have our open menu here. And you'll notice the, the dashed lines here. I'll talk about that in a, in a moment. I also want an exit menu. Okay. So I'm going to click on sub menu and I'm going to add another command and I'm going to change the label of that to exit. Okay. So now we have open and exit. In between open and exit, I would like to see a separator. So I'm going to click on sub menu again. And from here, I'm going to click on separator. And you'll notice that the separator is now at the end, but I want it to appear in between open and exit. So how do I do that? Well, I click on separator and then I go up to the edit menu and under widget tree, I say item up. So it moved it up and we can see that it's in the center now in between open and exit. Okay. So now that that's done, we can preview the window and see what it looks like. So I'm going to go up to preview, preview on top level, and we can see the menu here. So the dashed lines like this, it means that if I click on it, it'll show up in a separate window. So now I can drag this window and move it around. So it's no longer really like a menu. It's more like a top level window with menus in it. Uh, but that's not commonly used. Okay. So to turn that off, I have to click on sub menu. And on the right hand side, there's an option that says tear off. I have to change this to false. And once I do that, I'm just going to preview it again. And we can see that the tear off dash lines are no longer there. So I wanted to show you something else. So notice that in PyGoobo Designer, you see an underline under F, an underline under E, underline under P, and underline under H. So what do those underlines mean? And how come my menu doesn't have any underlines? So underlines are keyboard shortcuts. It means that for for help, it has an underline under H. 
So it means if I hold Alt H on my keyboard, it should bring up that menu. So let's try it. Alt H. Yep, that worked. So those are really handy if you if your users like to use the keyboard a lot. So how do I add those underlines to my menus? It's actually a really good idea, in my opinion, to have those underlines because it's possible that a user might want to use keyboard shortcuts more than using a mouse. It also gives it a nice level of polish. Anytime I see that level of detail, it, it tells me as a user that the developers of an application have, have spent the time to fine tune it and they've thought about little details like that. So it's actually a, a nice touch. Okay, so to add that to our program, I'm gonna click on submenu here on the left-hand side. And if I scroll down, there's an option that says underline. So the underline is, is asking for an index number. So I want to make the F underlined. So F starts at index zero, I is index one, L is index two and so forth. So for F, I want F to be underlined. So under underline, I'm gonna specify index zero because F is the first letter. So we can see that F is underlined. So let's try it out. If I go to preview and if I press Alt F on my keyboard, I can see that it expands. So I can do the same thing for the open menu and exit menu. So let's do that now. And it might actually be a good time to name these so they make sense when I look at them in, in the in the grid here or, or in the in the list. So the sub menu at the top, I'm gonna rename this to MNU underscore file. So I know it's a file menu. This one I'm gonna name MNU underscore open. So I know it's an open menu. We can leave the separator the way it is. And the exit menu will be MNU underscore exit. Okay, so now it makes sense as to which one is which. I'm gonna click on menu underscore open, set the underline to zero so that it puts an underline under the letter O. And for menu exit, I'm going to set the underline for the letter X, which is at index number one. Okay, so let's try that out. And if I preview it, and we can see the underlines just the way that we configured them. Okay, so now we should link these two up to our code so that they do something. So I'm gonna go to the code tab at the top here. And my main widget will be the top level window. And here you'll notice that it says main menu and nothing is selected. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you act actually select the menu that you've created. So in this case for me, menu two is this one. It's like the, the main menu. If, I, if you don't select it from this list, your, your main menu won't actually show up in the top level window. I'll show you an example. I won't select it here, and I'm gonna click on generate. I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard. First, I'm gonna save this file, and I'm gonna call it menu underscore testing. Okay, so in my Python IDE, the project UI will be menu underscore testing dot UI. So it's just a link to the file that I just saved. Okay, so I'm gonna run this and you'll notice that it's just a blank window. There is no menu. And that's because I didn't actually choose a menu from here. So now I'm gonna choose a menu and I'm gonna click on generate, copy to clipboard, and I'm going to replace all that code with the new code that I just copied to the clipboard. I still have to rename this part to menu underscore testing dot UI. And I'm gonna run it. And we can see that the menu is there now. So the color of the menu will be different depending on your operating system and depending on the theme that you have. So to actually link these up to actions or to methods, um, I'm going to go back to PyGoobo Designer in the design tab and I'm going to select the open menu. At the top here, there, or actually in the middle, it says command. 
So the callback for this is I'm going to choose on open menu clicked. And for the exit menu, it's going to be on exit menu clicked. I'm going to save this, go back into my Python code, and I'm going to create those two methods. So on open menu clicked and on exit menu clicked. And here I want to print open clicked and for exit, exit clicked. Okay, let's just try it out just to see if it works. So the console is down here. I'm going to go to file, open, open clicked, it works. File, exit, exit clicked, it works. So this line here, builder.connectCallbacks, this is responsible for attaching the commands in PyGooboo Designer to methods that you specify uh, from the command section here, the callbacks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something else as well. If I go back into PyGooboo Designer, I'm gonna click on the open menu. There is an option here that says accelerator. And the information for it says, it specifies a string to display at the right side of the menu entry. So what that means is I'm gonna just put any text here. I'm gonna put the word test. Then I'm gonna preview the window. Watch what it shows. It shows the word test there. So any text that you put under accelerator, it's gonna show up on the right hand side of that menu. So what is that used for? It's used for showing shortcuts, like keyboard shortcuts. So in this case, if your program were to use control O, for example, to, to open a file, then here you would put in CTRL plus O. And if I preview it, we can see that it's set up that way. So this doesn't actually link the keyboard shortcuts to what you specify here. Like right now, if I press control O, it won't do anything. This is simply just a string. It's just text. It's for informational purposes. So you would still have to bind control O to whichever method it is that you want to run in your code. This is just for your users to see. So if you wanted to do the same thing for exit, you would uh, go here and change the accelerator. Let's say if it's uh, control E, CTRL plus E, then you can see control E there. And even PyGooboo Designer has that. If I go to the preview menu, I can see that F5 is a preview. So this, this will preview the window. So if I press F5 on the keyboard, it brings it up. So that's basically how you create menus or top level menus using PyGooboo Designer. I hope this was useful to you. Thanks for watching.